Yo, 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 what's happening guys? Metaverse Melon here, how are we all today? We're back with another video. We're currently in LA right now, actually looking over the map. Uh, really getting into treasure hunting now. We're at 2.06 spark from treasure hunting every single day in Upland. Um, and then I try and get between like 15 to 20 chests roughly every single day. I have had a few days where I've just like relaxed a bit, but mainly every other day I'm doing 20 chests. And then like the other day I'm kind of like doing 15, you know, just uh, hopefully pushing it as much as I can but like still making it fun so I can do it over and over again so I don't end up like burning out I want it to be fun and enjoyable and buying more properties as well is just the way forward so I'm in LA right now which is a tier one city it's a massive map a lot of people don't like treasure hunting in LA uh, I love it I've got every single chest recently I've not missed one and I have spoke about this but it's because I have got a lot of properties so like this isn't fair for players what are coming on uh, what haven't got any properties so all my properties are 25 upex just so it's cheap so you can send to them and then obviously at the end of the treasure hunt the minimum is 280 i believe or 290 so you'll always get that back so regardless of the 125 to enter the 125 upex and then if you used all the properties i've got but at the moment i've not got many properties down at the bottom uh, but we are building this map up as well so this map will be able to be used by everyone in upland as well so hopefully we can actually build this into something really really amazing over time just filling up these patches here and then that just makes the sends a lot cheaper as well because right now um, you get three sends every day in upland if you don't know already and what i do is go over to upx land and then find my send and then you just put your username and your city you're actually based in uh, for treasure hunting like where your avatar is and then you can see all the paper airplanes what come up on the map and then you can just search on the address you want to actually go to to find the paper airplane i'll just pick one what's a little bit closer like this one and then we just go over to upland and then we'll just paste this address here so every single day you get three paper airplanes for free from upland but then after that you have to collect them so i basically collect everything i can do anything within 80 meters you can collect straight away uh, but any property is what's further away than 80 meters your avatar's got to hover over to it or you'll have to pay to visit someone else's property where the paper airplane is so you can see there's paper airplanes here I'm just getting like really good luck for this video because this doesn't normally happen, maybe not, so this is going to go too far over this way. So all you do is keep sending to the actual property until the avatar uh, changes the direction to the direction you where the paper aeroplane is kind of thing, or like close to it so you know you're going to get it. So sometimes if I've not got any other paper aeroplanes within 80 meters of my properties, I'll just keep doing this until I actually get the paper aeroplanes. And then every time I'll collect like two or three, it means I don't have to pay for a send. And then I also don't have to uh, visit any other properties wasting of send as well. Because if you can only use, I think it's 80 sends a day. So if you're using like eight of those sends to so it, say I sent over to this property here, it would cost me a send plus I'd have to pay the upex for visiting this property. Whereas if I just do this little trick and be patient, uh, the avatar will send over as well. So this is one of the big tr uh, tips that I've learned in the treasure hunting, which has actually helped me take it from like 12 hunts a day, 10, 12 hunts a day, because I ran out of sends to now being able to hunt 15 to 20 treasures every single day just by using this strategy and being patient. It might take a couple of minutes extra, but I believe in... Uh, taking the time and getting the sends and trying to hunt because I've got 0.1 spark now from doing this strategy and treasure hunting every single day in Upland so it is really good and if you think about that that's basically $46 if one sparks $460 and then to 0.01 will be $4.60 um, so obviously 0.1 will be for $46 so in the last like 10 days 11 days uh, we've collected that amount of spark so like it's not bad at all and we've like kind of had a few days where we've relaxed and like a few days I've been working and then came home so I've probably hunted like full on about eight days of that um, and then we've got basically like um, point one spark from that already so and this is just where we're going right now we've not been treasure hunting for the last year so at that calculation point one say 0.1 a week if we can get close to that or even say say 0.6 a week just for just for like the lowest amount and then times up by 52 weeks uh you've got over six like six basically like close to six let's actually have a look on the calculator so say i can get 0 0.06 every week and then times up by 52 3.12 so 3.12 spark 
every single year if we carry on the way we are with about two three weeks of practice uh, less than that probably i know i've got a lot of properties so i don't want to come across like it's easy because it's not like over the last year year and a half i've been building up all these properties and i've not really been using it to treasure hunt but like that was the idea at the start of the game so now coming back to it i can actually like build on my old kind of plan on the game if you look back to videos from like a year ago how i didn't like treasure hunting and other stuff so uh, yeah how the tables have turned how the times have changed uh, you can see here now the avatar so it's actually moved off the property um, I've followed the line so you can zoom in and see the line off the property and when you know it's going towards your aeroplane you can kind of zoom out and just watch it guide and now I'll be able to collect that I only got one send off that aeroplane but now I've got 11 sends and I'll be able to actually treasure hunt again in Uplands so I won't be able to film on this video because obviously I can't do the treasure hunting night now they've took it off the actual web version so that should be back soon hopefully and then we can start to treasure hunt on the actual videos as well so uh, that's really good coming to the game i have submitted the racetrack as well i wasn't really gonna jump on but i just wanted to jump on now i got home and just wanted to get everything out what i was thinking about today uh, the racetrack has been sent away now for approval uh, so now the granada hills racetrack is on the go let's just try and find it over here and then you can see this is where the factory is this is where the showroom is and then this is where there are residences and now you can see all the buildings so this is a new building going up now uh, you've got two over here our four townhouses we're building two new apartments and then someone else is building an apartment here which is amazing and then another one what we're actually going to do is start shouting out the people building in granada hills on this channel so my land p87 thank you so much uh, this is going to be amazing this node the racetrack is running right through here as well so uh, just wait this is going to come soon this is really good and now i'm actually earning money again from my job i'll be able to actually start bringing the floor up in granada hills and actually invest in again so uh, we're going to see a, like a big growth in the granada hills and this channel in general so uh, let's have a look at this james py 802 sorry uh congratulations i'm just going to show everyone what's actually building right now on this map we've also got he's building another one here like wow so what we will do is if we see lots of players actually building he's building there as well so this is amazing uh once we get some upex we'll have to send some upex over Pete 61 thank you so much for joining like he's actually right next to the showroom and then we've also got a cat LCC I can't even pronounce that my bad but like thank you so much for the uh, support and then where else have we got we've got this one here we'll show as well um, Adam Ray so Adam Ray's building as well down the racetrack and then it just goes on further this way as well you can actually see like more apartments are going up now uh, more apartments over here as well so it's just starting to build out we're starting to like sell off some of this property as well so uh, trying to just basically like diversify spread out our properties a little bit further around the map and then if you go down this way as well to the other side of the racetrack um there's a showroom so it goes down here down the straight and then you can actually see all the apartments close to where the finish line is and then you can see it comes around this corner here and then it'll come back here so this is where we're going to actually start to build the meta venture the start line for the racetrack so if this gets approved this is where the racetrack is going to start uh, hopefully it does so this will be really cool this is where we're actually going to build the meta venture uh, it's the only one what's got the right size it's not allowed to be on a corner uh, so this is going to be where the start line is and then you can see people are already starting to build on the start line of the property as well so this is going to be really cool and this is going to take a couple of months to go through the process uh, uh, by that point we hopefully can buy a lot of property down this straight as well and then also down this straight like here and start building up property as well so it'll go down here it'll go around and then it goes up here and then it'll go around down here where is it Ah, sorry it goes where is it gone <laughs> Chatsworth Street, yeah, there we go. Right, so it comes up here. So it goes down Jermaine Street, then it goes left, and it goes up to, then it goes to Chatsworth Street, and it goes across Chatsworth Street. I think it goes, yeah, down here, down Balboa Boulevard, and then it cuts in here into the alley, down the alley, through here, and then around, and then down here, and then it comes out of here. 
and then it goes down here and then all the way down here and then around here past where this like uh, our actual factory and showroom is going to be and then this is where the cafe is going to be as well so you can actually see the manufacturing and the assets moving if you think about it we're planning ahead for like years and years to come in the game of uplands so uh, in the future you'll be able to drive about so in the future you'll be able to see looking out the cafes you'll be able to see the cars moving about you'll be able to see the assets in the like courtyard of the factory you know so like i'm thinking about the long-term game of, and that's why i like wanted to announce a racetrack i wanted the players to actually jump on and actually see what designs they like if they want the designs to like kind of be different or if they're going to change i just want to be fully open with the community and everybody what watches these videos and supports granada hills as well so just to see the actual uh, growth right now is amazing um and we've also i'll just finish off with the racetrack before i lose where i'm going and then it goes down here and then it goes up here and then it goes down here and then it goes down there and then it comes back down and then this is the way that we went at the start back around so that's a racetrack so just so people know the route you can watch the video back and then once you've got the route uh, you'll be able to see so if we go out of it here you'll be able to see where the route goes so it's basically down here up there down down to around and then up and then down and then that and then it goes down the alleyway and then into there and then down and around again uh, so that's basically the racetrack hopefully that gets approved and then we're going to start just building more structures as much as possible we have got six structures building right now um over here and what i have done as a thank you as well i've going to give one of these townhouses away i did speak in the last video uh, but what we will do is start to take all the names of the people actually building uh contributing spark to these properties and then we're going to start looking at players in the community of granada hills as well and just picking random people on these videos uh, to give up pecs away and other stuff too and like messages like congratulate them and i'll also try and promote you on this channel as well uh, we've hit 502 subscribers now so it's going really well i've got some big news coming as well for this channel so i uh, really hope you enjoy these videos click that like uh, button click that subscribe button if you're not already uh, really trying to push this channel as much as possible uh, once we get monetized we'll be able to put every single penny what we make back into this youtube channel and back into upland so every single penny the youtube channel makes will just go back into upland and then i'll show you the behind the scenes content of how we make these videos how we actually like invest how we do all this other stuff in the game as well so a little bit more like kind of a vlog maybe style so uh, looking forward to that content maybe over christmas time uh, just basically trying to like grind at it uh, treasure hunting full time as much as possible and then also on thursday we will be buying the flora granada hill so it's the last time to jump on if you want some of those dollar properties um if you don't get them in time they will get bought up on thursday uh, we'll probably get the floor to about six dollars i've looked at it right now actually we'll just jump onto it quickly uh, same website i use here so this is basically where I get all the data for Upland. So Upland is basically a property virtual trading game. If you're new to Upland, there is a link in the description down below. If you jump on it this week, five days left. So after this video, five days of this video being out, it will be finished. But right now you can go to that link and then get um, up to 100 UPEX, 100,000 UPEX, sorry. And then you'll get 100% bonus on that 100,000 UPEX. So just for a Black Friday sale for this next five days, like it's already been two days, so another five days left, uh, go jump onto that link down in the description below uh, get your hundred thousand upex and then it'll get doubled so you'll be able to get two hundred thousand upex or two hundred dollars in the game so yeah this is not financial advice and this isn't paid at all this is just me uh basically if you want to come into upland and you don't want to invest like go into fsa there's loads of different ways but this is probably the best time to be able to get into the game because i can't even get lots of properties at less than my profits i'm buying for 45 percent markup i'll pay the five percent so they're fifty percent and they're very rare to come across so if you're getting that 200,000 up x that's like 17 18 properties in like minted properties in la you know in like granada hills or other places as well so it's a really good deal like jump onto that if you've not already uh all the properties all the trading you can build build structures you can like start meta ventures you can do loads of stuff think about monopoly and other places like that and then like building games and that but web3 so you own all the assets on the blockchain so you have full ownership and then you can sell the profits for dollars as well so i'll show you more about the dollar strategies in these videos going forward but uh, for now we'll just jump into granada hills and then we're actually going to go to dollar 
and then we'll actually search for this just so we can actually see this floor here so the floor is stuck at $3.47 right now um, and then we'll just refresh it so you can actually see from low to high so $3.47 so all these properties here will probably buy up all the way we can buy like 30 properties so that's 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, say I buy 25, something close to that. So we'll get the floor up to about $5.58 uh, by Thursday. And then on Friday, we should have the floor, depending on how many people put other properties on for dollars, it might go back down again, but we'll get the floor up to close to $8. Uh, uh, just jump on if you can, if you want to, like just get those properties because Hopefully we can get all these properties bought up, so we'll get the floor back up as well. And then you can see the floor here, anything under $9 basically. These ones are 93 as well, so we're going to buy anything what's under mint as well. And then basically just clean out Granada Hills, start uh, growing the properties. And anybody what's um, on Granada Hills and actually enjoys the node and like watching these videos right now, this is for you. Uh, Granada Hills, you've seen the floor, you've seen us promote this channel, you've seen us actually build the node for close to six, seven months now. And then some people might be like, it's not really moving. And then, yeah, like the last three months, we've not invested like much into the game of like Upland at all. Uh, going from job like, and then now getting into the new job, it's just kind of been like financially. With my old job, you've got to realize it was really good money, but like I was working about 80 to 100 hours like as a chef. Now I'm doing a lot like more detailed work, like graphic design work, very hard, uh, but a lot more relaxed and less hours now, so I can actually focus more on this game. And now we start to get our monthly payback to what close to what I'm used to, so I'll have some spare money to actually put back into this. Uh, Granada Hills has kind of been flat for a while. We've not forgot about it, but you've got to think, I've not got a lot of money. This is like all like my money I've got. Like This is really for entertainment purposes. It's not financial advice, but I try and put, like believe me, every single penny I can, I'll try and grow my account in Upland because I really do believe um, I'll get to 100 million. I do see the account growing that quick and I see me doing a video till that process reaches that goal. So uh, Granada Hills is going to grow. I'm going to buy the floor. And then every time I get like 12,000 UPEX, the floor right now is in UPEX. What I'll do is I'll keep this non FSA on for now so you can actually see the floor in UPEX. And then, where is it? Granada Hills for sale in OPEX. And then, ah, not the mint price, sale price. Why is this? They're all Granada. Ah, because it's Granada Hills. But I want it to be Granada, Granada Hills. There was some. Ah, the unminted, that's why. So I'll go on to the unminted quickly. And then these are with the FSA properties so here. You can see right now you can get a property for 7,320 UPEX and I thought that's where the floor was, I thought that was low, but that's the FSA properties in Granada Hills. So anybody what's an FSA, uh, what can buy an FSA property, so if you've got less than 100,000 UPEX, if you want to buy any of these properties for 7,000, 7,300, 7,800, I'll buy these straight off you for 10,000 UPEX. Uh, um, if you want to jump onto them, you can do, make some money. It might even make it to 12,000 just to get them off the market. And then we plan to like grow and grow this uh, by minting out as many properties as possible. And then we'll click on the non-FSA, so we'll just search it again. And then here, we'll just double check that's the floor. The floor actually in UPEX right now for any player what's over 100,000 UPEX is close to 12,000 UPEX. Uh, really happy with that. So we're going to start minting out these properties as well. And then you can see it'll cross over to 12,000, nearly 100. And then we'll mint these properties as well. So we'll keep minting out the properties going down. Uh, I just want to tell the people this as well because I don't want to like put money into the game and then take all the cheapest properties so the players of Granada Hills can't jump onto it. So I'm telling this so you go and get these properties before I do. Like anybody who watches these videos deserves uh, the information to go and like actually like get ahead. I don't want to take these properties before because I will take these properties regardless. I'm not saying get them if you want to go and do something else with your UPEX, like go do it. But uh, this is just for people in Granada Hills. I, I will be buying 
the floor and then if you start buying the floor i'll back off the floor and i'll start buying bigger properties so then the smaller players can buy all the little properties but i want to see the floor like raise a little bit because then that will show granada hills is growing and then that uh, creates more like attention more kind of like noise about granada hills and that just increases everybody's value with their properties and everybody what's actually working towards this goal as well so i can do my part by promoting this on this channel and to all the players in upland so yeah jump on granada hills if you're not already and let's try and push this node up guys uh, we'll get the racetrack going and then once that's done we've got the factory and everything to look forward to as well so a lot will be coming next year to this channel so really looking forward to that uh, just wanted to jump on quickly talk about that before uh, call it a night trying to get these videos down to a sweet spot but like they keep like pulling out but uh, really happy with the information and i'd rather like talk through it and actually like try and explain it like sometimes it takes me a while to get it through but um i like had a thought at work today and i just wanted to jump on and actually talk about the node and where the prices are because a few players are yeah it's not easy to please everybody so like sometimes it's easier to like make these videos and be more informational because i stand by everything on this channel and i do believe in it and i really do want to see a lot of players grow their accounts and i do stand by in granada hills so uh, yeah get involved if you're not already the link is in the description if you want to sign up to upland you can get a hundred percent bonus for like the next five days for the black friday steal so you will get up to a hundred thousand upex bonus if you buy a hundred thousand upex in the store uh, so that's an amazing link we have got the granada hills as well the discord node so you can jump onto that the link is in the description down below as well guys make sure to like subscribe and comment if you're not already thank you so much for all the love and support i'll see you tomorrow for another video peace